All right, everybody, welcome back to Julie's Food Truck. We're going to show you how to make one of our signature desserts today. All right, so on this dessert, this is called Julie's Paradise. What we're doing today, she's taken a deep fried Belgian waffle out of the fryer and she's going to place it in the dish here, which is just your basic nacho dish. Okay, so let's take a look. Zoom in there. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Some of you may be familiar with ambrosia salads. Some people call it fruit salad. Basically, well, I'll let her describe what it is. She may not tell you all of the ingredients in there. So, what do we got there? It's just, it's my Meemaw's recipe for fruit salad. And it just has like marshmallows and strawberries, pineapples, pecans, cool whip. Okay. I did not put the coconut in it because there's so many people that don't like coconut, but I like coconut in mine, but in this batch I didn't put coconut. But other than that, it's just like a, a fruit salad that's sweet. And it's got strawberries. That's what makes it pink. Strawberries. Okay. And so she'll put one scoop of that on top of the hot Belgian waffle. And then she'll show you guys what's in the next step. I'm going to drizzle some strawberries. Don't you put the whipped cream? Oh yeah. Man, that looks good. A lot of people don't like this stuff. Her sister says it's for old people. I absolutely love this. I've always loved this kind of stuff when I was a kid. You generally have it at Christmas dinners, Thanksgiving dinners, things like that. And uh, I always liked it, so I never really considered it something for old people. But what's good about it, and serving it on the truck, especially this time of year, now that it's starting to get warmer, is it's cold. The dessert is cold. The waffle is crispy and sweet, and it's warm. I'm just going to drizzle like a little bit of the strawberry juice up from these fresh strawberries that I served. Oh, okay, yeah, and then it goes down to the waffle. I was wondering how you did that. And normally I make my own whipping cream, but I didn't have time this morning, so I'm going to cheat and use the Ready Whip. And I'm just going to put just a little bit on top. You can put it around too if you like a lot of Cool Whip, but I like just a little bit just to give it a little bit of prettiness, I guess. Dressing it up a little bit for presentation yeah. purposes. You could also put some strawberries around here if you really wanted to decorate it up, which sometimes I do. It's just the fresh strawberries make it really look pretty. This is so delicious. And we know we did the boudin egg roll recipe the other day. So I wanted to show you guys one of our dessert recipes. This is a very food truck type item because you expect to find different things on a food truck that you find in any of your local eateries or fast food restaurants, obviously. And this is so good as soon as this video is over i'm going to make this disappear in about three seconds so i may do a video called kyle's magic show where i can make things disappear in three seconds or less so we want to thank you guys for being here we want to thank you for being on the food truck wanted to show you something just a little bit different today something that we do that's unique to us and hopefully you guys enjoyed it we appreciate everybody supporting the channel if you'd like you can leave something in the tip jar if not no big deal just keep subbing Keep watching and we'll keep sharing. And I want to thank you guys for what? Babe? Being on the team. Being on the truck. <laughs> the on other the truck. channel's being on the team. This one's being on the truck. Thanks guys for being on the truck. Oh, I'm going to so eat that in about